Hi everyone and welcome to another NM Botronics tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at push buttons and LEDs and how to turn these on and off. And uh, we're we're actually going to do two different codes. One is going to turn on the light when you're pushing the button and when you let go it's going to turn it off. And then I'm going to show you how to uh, make it make your code so that when you push the button and let go it'll turn on you push it again let go and it'll turn the LED off alright so this is how we're going to set up our push button and our LED you're going to connect uh, your push button here between these and terminal 21 is going to go down to your positive line here and on the other side you're going to have a terminal 11 this is going to go to pin 8 on your Arduino and also in that same line we're going to have a resistor here and let me see I think this was a 1k resistor here and now over here we're going to hook up our LED we're going to go from pin 13 to the positive side of your LED and on your negative side you're going to hook up your resistor and here I did a 100 ohm resistor and the only other thing is hook your board up to your ground and to your 5 volt positive. Now we have that all set up. We're going to take a look at the code. And we'll start writing some code for this to get this working. Alright, first of all, I'm going to want to uh, declare a couple variables. We're going to go int uh, LED. And that's going to be equal to 13. And then we're going to... whoops. We're going to do an, another int, and we're going to name this push, and that's going to be on uh, pin number 8 on your Arduino. Okay, now we'll come down, we'll write our void setup, and inside here we're going to set our pin modes for these. So we're going to pin mode uh, LED. That's going to be an output. Okay, then we're going to go pin mode again. And we're going to do push. And that's going to be an input. Okay, and that will do it for our void setup. Now we're going to get down and write the void loop. Okay, now in here I'm going to declare another variable, int, and I'm going to name this pushed. Now, this is going to be equal to uh, the value that we're going to read from the push pin, which is on number 8, to see if we have actually got the pin, the button pushed down or not. Alright, so now we're going to do a digital read. And we're going to read the push. Okay. And now, if it's pushed in, we're going to want to turn this on. And if your finger comes off it, we want it to go back out off. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if, whoops, if pushed equal equals one uh, then we're gonna turn on the light so we're in digital right and we're gonna digital right LED uh, high okay and we're gonna give this a little delay just in case we're uh, push the button. Well, no, no, I don't think we need a delay right here. If we do, we'll come back and put one in. All right. Now we're gonna do if else. So else uh, we're gonna do turn the LED off. LED. 
low. Okay. Now, that should be it. Now, let me go and see if this will, will work right. Oh, oh. I spelled else wrong. Holy cow. Let's see. There we go. Alright, let's start this again. There we go. Alright, push the button, turns on. Push the button, let go, turns off. Push the button, goes on, let go, it goes off. Alright, now we want to be able to push the button and let go, and the light will turn on. And then again, push it again and let go, and the LED will turn off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in another if statement here. Let me see. Hopefully, I'll stop the simulator. All right. Now we're going to put another if statement inside this one. So if uh, digital read. Da, 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 da. LED is equal to one, then we're going to do something in here. And well, let's see. If it equals one, then that means that the light's already on, so then we're going to turn it off. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put this right in here. And in here, I am going to write a delay because uh, what if I push it for a longer than it takes to loop? Then it's going to keep on turning on and off and on and off. And when I let go, I might not have what I wanted. So I'm going to do a small delay in here and I'm going to go half a second. Okay. So, if it's pushed, if it's on, okay, yep, so we don't need this else, oops, and we're going to do, if the LED is on or else, oh, look at that, I typed it right this time, else, then we're going to digital write this uh, on. So if it's already on, we're going to write it low. Or else, if it's not already on, then we're going to turn it on. Alright, now let me see here. I'm just going to go with that one. And we're going to put a little delay in here. another half a second okay now let's take a look and see if this is going to work right oh oh I think I need another one there we go let's try that there yes because we're ending one if here we're ending the next if here and then we're ending the whole loop there Alright, so let's see if this works. I'm going to push on and off, and there we go, it's on. I'm going to push it again, and we go off. Push it, and it goes on. Push it again, and it goes off. Alright, well that was the code in the setup for your push button. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.